The question of the day, why can I hear but not understand? I'm Dr. Ryan Whitaker. I'm here with my partner, Dr. Rich Lukenge. We want to tackle that question today. We get asked all the time, Dr. Lukenge, why can I hear but not understand? Great question. So the, the question, like he said, it's asked, we get this question every day, maybe even on the hour. And to begin with, an obvious answer to this question would be, if you have hearing loss, and this hearing loss happens to be in a certain area of your ear. So your ear has three parts, primarily the bass tones, the mid-range, and the treble, or the high-pitched tones. And your inner ear is organized to bring these sounds in, but if you start losing those higher-pitched tones, this is kind of like on the right side of the piano, those those treble and soprano and those higher frequency sounds. If you're losing those sounds, even though you're hearing the bass and the volume and the richness, if you're losing those higher frequency sounds, you're losing a lot of clarity. Things become mushy. They become kind of like they're run together. It's almost like mumble jumble. You wish there was more separation between each of the words. And so things really do sound mushy or mumbled or just not clear you're lacking clarity and so if you're losing the higher frequency sounds you probably need a hearing device or some kind of assistive listening device to help facilitate that and and amplify and bring a little more of that clarity back into the in, into your auditory system that's the most common hearing loss we see a high frequency hearing loss you lose clarity you know sometimes people are confused what hearing loss even is how it manifests it's like if you have a little bit of trouble with your vision, it doesn't mean you're blind. You just might, might not be able to see the leaves clearly on the tree. When you lose the high frequencies in hearing, you still hear, it's just not as clear. Right. So you hear it, you just don't understand it. That's a really common one. But there's some other factors involved too. Our auditory system is pretty complicated. And yeah. after the ear hears it, the brain has to process it. The auditory nerve and the brain stem, once the auditory system starts to decline, so in a person that does have hearing loss, not only do they not hear the high tones, but sometimes that auditory system, that nerve, that brain stem, it doesn't process the sounds very well. If it's not getting processed, boy, you might hear it, but you might not be able to understand it. Right. What about someone that has hearing aids? They know they have hearing loss, but they still feel like they're hearing but not understanding. You know, that's a really common one too, is occasionally we'll get a patient that comes in and they have this concern whether they're our patient or maybe they're someone we've never met, but they come in and they say, I'm still not understanding. I have hearing devices, but why am I not doing well? And some of this, like Dr. Whitaker was saying, has to do with how they're processing. They're not processing speech well. Um, their brain stem over time and their brain has reduced in its capabilities to handle speech with noise. But some of these patients, they come in and we ask them, go ahead and put your hearing device in and they put it in and we notice they're only put it, putting it in halfway. Or maybe we have them move their mouth a little and act like they're talking or simulate like they're chewing food and sure enough the hearing device will back out. Of course if the device is not staying in the ear canal where it can give that facilitated sound pressure or give more of that gain and that help, if the, if the hearing device is backing out of the ear canal you're not getting the, the benefit that you should get to receive the clarity to understand that message better. And so an improper fit or something that's not fit properly and it's not staying in, it's not retaining well, that will never give you the clarity that you're hoping in a consistent way. That's right. You know, we understand hearing aids are a big help. They never are as good as the natural auditory system. Mm -hmm. But we also really are passionate about helping people understand as well as hear. My two biggest pieces of advice, number one, if you're hearing but feeling like you're not understanding, find a good clinic. Make sure that you get tested early. Mm -hmm. The earlier that you get tested, the better the long-term prognosis. And the second piece goes right along with that. That clinic can help you long-term. Right. So get tested early, find a good clinic. We'd love to help you. Yeah. Thanks. I gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, if you need help, thanks for watching and tuning in. Go ahead and uh, click on the link below and we'll, we'll help you out.